Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to restore your VMware VCSS 6.7 from uh, backup from Veeam. So uh, in last video uh, we have created Veeam backup and replication server and then we have added our VCSS 6.7 uh, virtual machine or appliance in a backup of VMware. So if you want to go back and check the how, how to install and configure Veeam backup and replication server or how to add the VCSS backup uh, in Veeam you can go ahead and see. So I'm using the Veeam backup and replication community version 10 which is totally free if a small organization and you want to uh, take the backup of 10 instance you can go ahead and download uh, veeam backup and replication and install in, in community edition so for 10 uh, 10 instant it's free and if you are running enterprise edition or any other uh, edition for the veeam backup and replication then definitely you are go good to go and restore your backup uh, you know, from veeam backup server if you have already configured so uh, so there were multiple tool like Veeam uh, you can use to take a backup of your appliance so um, you make sure you have a, a currently healthy backup um, uh, backup is running for the VCSA because VCSA is one of the most critical uh, machine for your infrastructure uh, overall your VMware infrastructure to manage and deliver the services so yeah uh, so in last video uh, we got this uh, INVCSS01 up and running on uh, vCenter uh, server appliance 6.7 so we'll just let's assume we got this server deleted or this server got corrupted so we uh, now we are looking for a way to restore it from backup so we are going to see uh, in this video how we can restore it from backup so this is my lab, lab setup here so the first machine is going to get DC01 which is my active directory domain control and this is our um, uh, you can see this is active directory and DNS running on this machine and my domain name is victorinfosol.lan and this is my veeam server win2k16 veeam which is running uh, veeam backup and replication 10 server and this is also joining my domain so and I have two ESXi host prod ESXi01 and prod ESXi02 both are running ESXi 6.7 so if I go and see so this is my Win2K12 DC01 which is running basically Active Directory and the DNS role you can see from here and this is my Veeam server which is running Veeam Community Edition so just go ahead and launch the Veeam Backup and Replication Console so you can see it's uh, running version 10 so just click on connect and I got my two ESXi hosts which is uh, uh, prod ESXi01 and prod ESXi02 both are running VMware ESXi 6.7 so this is my infrastructure and I, I got one uh, console machine which I use to console to my VMware infrastructure so this is Windows 10 client machine so if I go here you can see this is my prod ESXi01 this is my prod ESXi02 and this is my INVCSS01 so I'm going to log into all the servers so this is my uh, ESXi02 having two virtual machines running on it and this is my prod ESXi02 which is running one uh, VC VCSR67 which is my vCenter v server and this is my vCenter server on uh, itself where we have logged into IN, IN vcsc one so this is my vCenter server so if we have a recent backup you can see now we I am logged into Veeam backup and replication community edition so if I go on desk you can see I am running uh, I having one restore point for VCSS 67 and others virtual machines also so I'm just going to initiate a full new backup so if you have a recent backup then you are good to go ahead and restore it so I'm just uh, uh, making double sure I have a latest backup of vCenter server since I have made some changes in from the last videos so yeah I, I'm going to take the fresh backup and then we are going to delete this ESXi um, um, uh, vCenter server appliance from ESXi host and then we are going to restore from there so I'm just waiting to get this backup finished so I'm going to pause the recording for now once the backup is done we will uh, resume further so now you, you can see my vCenter server appliance backup has been completed successfully 
and it's running for rest of the VM so uh, if I go to backup infrastructure you can see what you got added so we have only one vCenter server itself so once we are going to restore the vCenter server if the vCenter server itself is down we cannot restore it so I'm going to add my ESXi host here so just going to give the name prod ESXi you don't need to add all the ESXi host to the uh, vCenter server only the ESXi host where you want to restore the uh, v vCenter server and once the vCenter server is uh, up you don't need to go ahead and select the host manually so so I'm going to add my prod ESXi 02 which is here you can see the remote certificate it's giving CN so I'm going to add it so saving the server configurations So now if I click finish you can see I got one uh, standalone host also which is prod ESXi02 where I am going to restore the machine. So now its backup is almost going to finish so everything is done you can see 100% uh, successes for all the virtual machines so I can go ahead. Now if I go to disk you can see I got two restore points for each of my virtual machine so this is good and now what I am going to do. I'm just going to shut down this or uh, my ESXi 6.7 and let's assume I'm going to delete it so power off yes and then it's here on my prod ESXi 02 so I'm going to delete this machine from disk so just click on delete and delete so now you can see we got our ESXi host 6.7 deleted or might be it's got corrupted or something so we want to restore from backup since we don't have now ESX uh, uh, VMware vSphere um, center or you can say virtual appliance running on our infrastructure so I'm going here now on my Veeam and going to select from uh, desk backup I'm going to select my virtual machine which is INVCS is uh, 67 so I'm going to just click a restore entire and uh, however we have multiple option to restore these machines so I'm going to use the restore entire VM function now so this is my virtual machine which we are going to restore so click next and restore mode if you go to original it's not going to work because we have added uh, we have taking uh, taken the backup from the vcs01 itself so it's not available so i'm going to restore to new locations and with the different setting because our vcs is down now so click next and then we got host connection so we can select the host so this is my host where we are going to uh, restore this machine since the v invcs01 is down so click OK now click next resource pool I'm going to leave everything default data store settings also going to leave the default it's going to restore in uh, data store prod ds03 so we are good with that so click next and in case you want to re uh, change these location definitely you can go ahead and change these locations from your uh, required um, settings so uh, since this is prod ds03 is most free Serving so uh, uh, approx 100% uh, free that's why it's recommending it so we are good with that click next and then we got the folder so just in the name I'm going to add the suffix as a restore so VM name is going to be a like this INVCS 67 underscore restore so we can easily identify it so click next and the network setting I'm going to leave the default source and target same click next and then click next and leave the default and just power on the target uh, VM after restore and so this is our, our settings what we are make sure you mark this so you don't need to power on from the v, uh, ESXi host itself so this is these are the settings and just clicking on finish so now you will see the restore job is started and waiting for the task or uh, next task so now if I go on my ESXi 02 here 
you can see the machine is getting a restore now the machine has been created and user space is 0 byte so it's going to restore my machine from backup so it's got total 41 files to restore which having uh, around 280 gig of data so this is then this so it's going to take a uh, few minutes only to restore because my disk size is approx uh, 13 gig only so you can see on log so I'm going to pause the recording here and once the restore is done we will resume from there so now you can see restore successfully completed and also power running, uh, powering on the restored VM is successfully so we got our virtual machine restored successfully now let's go here and just check now you can see the um, INVCSA 67 uh, uh, underscore restore is powered on and you can see we got the login screen also so it's going to take some time to basically allow us to log in so since it's going to restart all the required to start all the services so it's the page is not available but if I go here and just try to ping it you will see I'm able to ping it so um, INVCSA01 so you can see I'm able to ping the VCSA so this is good and also just try to log into the appliance and see if we are able to log in so yeah we are able to log in so everything looks good now and also if I go and check the appliance management console to just make sure the appliance management console is available so 54080 you can see VMware appliance management console is going to launch now so just going to log in here and verify the services status so you can see overall health status is good but the domain single sign on service status is unknown because the services are still in starting phase so it's going to take some time so we have to wait for some time so you can see all this automatic services which is set to automatic still not started so you can see stopped so few services you can see the service control isn't is starting so it's going to take some time but overall it's looking good for us so since we are able to log into appliance management console and everything so it's going good so CPU overla overloaded so we can get these type of alerts if we have a less CPU So now you can see 503 service unavailable so service is now getting a starting now we got the login page but still it requires some time to allow us to log in so I'm going to click on HTML5 login so might be the services are still not started so it's taking some time so now you can see the single sign on status is good also the CPU is uh, CPU's status is also become good now so from the appliance end we are all good now just waiting for a VMware client web client for the initializing since it's initializing state right now so now I got the login page so I'm going to log in with the local account vspa.local account so we landed over the host and clusters and now you can see we got this machine uh, which we have just restored automatically here so yeah so this uh, INVCSA uh, 67 restored is success successfully completed so this is um, this is how we can go ahead and take the backup of uh, our VCSA uh, uh, appliance by using the Veeam and we can we can restore if it's got deleted or if it's got corrupted or any issue you're facing 
you can go uh, you can follow this video and restore your um, healthy appliance from the backup uh, from the Veeam backup so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye